How Honey are cakes. you, Jet Ski Johnson? Good. Are we rolling? I guess so. Like, this is it, man. Welcome to the Comedy Store Podcast. Welcome to the big leagues. I mean, I know you're on, like, uh, what are they called again? Like, Tiger Bell or uh, Bad <laughs> Friend? Like, the dumb ones. The real not good podcast. But now, you're in the fucking big leagues. I know. I did two arena shows with Kill Tony this weekend, and the whole time I was like, Kill get me Tony, out of here. Shmoney. I got I got Ricky and Eleanor on Thursday. Yeah, I gotta go, bro. Let's wrap this show up. Let's Let's clean it up, man. Let's yeah. get out of here because I got to be in the basement of the comedy store. I actually was really excited to be here. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? I just, it's a legacy. I just, I'm passed. I'm a paid regular. I'm allowed Mazel to be on Tov, it. by the way. Yeah. Fucking congrats. You guys wouldn't have me before, but. No, we would never. We're like, don't even come in the basement. Bitch. Like, park my car. Yeah. Get park my, my car and take those colors elsewhere. <laughs> I do like that color. Is that teal? What? Your hat? Oh, yeah. You're going to pretend you didn't know I thought color? you meant the glasses at first, and I was like, uh-oh, oh, we red. got a bigger problem here. <laughs> <laughs> she might have a toothache, but her fucking eyes are all way off. Bobby gave me this hat. Oh, did he? Yeah. With lice, or? Uh, no, I think it's because it was really cold. I think we were in Chicago, and he let me borrow it. And then when I gave it back, he's like, you can keep it. <gasps> so I don't wow. know if it was an act of love. He does wear a lot of. Uh, what are they called? Beanie. Scully? Beanie. Scully, 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 is Scully name. somebody said. I don't know. Yeah, a Philly <gasps> thing. Look. Oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, I did not have... Why are they showing us our close-ups? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, this, this is your life. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been joking about it all week, but it, I had a root canal, and it's swollen. Oh, and, shit. Well, I had it yesterday, actually. That's where they go. they go in and drill into your... Room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you have? Perfect teeth or... You ever Two have a cavity? Cavities. Two? Fuck you, man. Yeah. I didn't go to the dentist for like 16 years and I went back and they found two and I was like, I don't need to come back. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. You got good, strong teeth. I think I think so. What's your nationality? Uh, I have family from Wales. Ooh, royalty. It's I get teeth. it. I'm kidding. Royalties have bad teeth. That's <laughs> those, true, yeah. Those creepy English fuckers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have my dad's side. They have the bad teeth. My moms are pretty good because my brother Billy were the, like almost the same age, Irish twins, and he no cavity. I think he had one his whole life. Whoa. One. And mine are like, here's my teeth. Like, Do you think it, your mom was cheating? Probably. Your, I hope so. Your mom had the good teeth? My mom, good teeth. My dad, bad teeth. Maybe it's not uh -huh. your full brother. <laughs> what? Really? That would be great. I mean, we look exactly alike, except for he's bald. And then, <laughs> don't tell him I said Whoa. that. Oh, <laughs> shit. We're talking about root canals. Look who's here. Have you root. ever had one? God, no. Good boy. You have the good teeth, too, huh? I don't, I don't think so. I'm proud of you. Oh, you just don't get them checked. I mean, I get them checked, but... I haven't had to have a root canal yet. I'm so you sure have the I'll energy of someone who's currently having a root canal. Currently. Well, it's it's the pain <laughs> that you are feeling has mm -hmm. nothing to do with my teeth. Right. They, they it are it slightly comes from sensitive. A I don't. Can yeah. we get a Sensodyne sponsorship? Ooh. Is that possible? Sensodone, Sensodyne, Sensodone, uh, uh, Sensodyne, Sensodyne. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's old Come people. Come on, man. Toothpaste. You're a paid regular Listen, now. These cool hip kids, they don't know about the Who old people. use toothpaste. charcoal? It's probably eat, huh? chewing crest kids or something. I use uh, Himalayan uh, toothpaste. Salt? Oh. No. <laughs> are you one of these hippie people? Is that what's going on? No, my dad is a hippie. And really? So he's like, he always says, get this stuff. It's not filled with chemicals from the government. So. Oh, okay. So what do you is get? Is that true? This Tell us. It's Himalayan brand and it's all natural. That can't be good. <laughs> Just kale. I can rub around in my yeah. mouth. When we you say were... Himalayan, I know they're salt people. What else right. are they known for? Could you? It's just a, their brand of Himalayan toothpaste. Can we pull that up? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Very demanding. You know what this is? I don't is. know what podcast studio you work at. But, uh, but... Bad friends, and, you know, Bobby Lee and Santino. And, you know, they when they she says pull it up, they pull it up. I don't even have to say pull it up. It's on you the just screen. Point. You just point. Yeah. Wow. It's, wow. Yeah. So you're saying our production is slow? <laughs> don't listen to her, Lee. We don't believe it. Hey, thanks. We think you're great. Thanks. He shows up. <laughs> That's more than the last guy. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> He's recorded all of them as far as I know. <laughs> Although one of the guys who recorded them told me that they all sounded great for five episodes before oh, yeah, admitting yeah. that he, they 
Sound never isn't heard that any great. Of them. Sound, I, I've never really listened. I believe. I'm like, why? Why did we do so many? He's like, oh, I just figured I'd get around to listening to them eventually. I'm like, what? Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Did, wait, are we? Not, we shouldn't name. Bleep that out, please. No, uh, we it's don't not, have. Uh, we don't have a bleep. Before him, so. even. Do, tell all your stories, Cat. Let me hear what you got. <laughs> wow. This is what a did Cat Williams style. Oh, look at this. <laughs> there it is. Himalaya. Awesome. Himalaya. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I've been reading it wrong this whole time. <laughs> Himalayan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we thought you were doing it with salt. Good so, price. Simply mint. Look at that. That's a normal I'm gonna price. I'm going to tell you right now, but botanicals like neem help brush away plaque. Whoa. I'm out on that. Neem. <laughs> You're not into neem? I don't do botanicals, period. No, we like chemicals. Yep. Chemicals. Two, I've had two cavities. Really? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Rick hasn't had any. I've never cavitated in my life. Here, it's not a competition. It is now. <laughs> and I when lost, I went in, I'm the already... dentist was like, hey, can I just say the chemicals are working great? <laughs> and so that's something that I think. Um, so the table's a different way than it was before. And I'm so it glad weird. you noticed. It feels okay. really weird. But I yeah. think. Um, but now this is more of like an interrogation, which I like. <laughs> yeah. I think they did it intentionally for you. And I Sorry. like this. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else was like sitting with Are us. Are you going to flip it for your next yeah. guest? No. We're going to. I think maybe we'll go diagonal. We'll try something different. We, we're no going to lose the diagonal. table for our next guest. And we're going to just all like a, a human pyramid. We're going to do that. Don is Barris. Don Barris is the guest. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're well, stealing Don Barris's stuff. That's what we're going to do next. Um, so welcome to the Comedy Store Podcast, Jessica. I, I, I love that you're excited to be here. Is that true? I am. I told her I was doing these arena shows this weekend and, uh, and for Kill Tony Podcast. And yeah. I just yeah. couldn't wait to get out of there. You canceled big time. You should have yeah. canceled. That would have been the power move <laughs> to prepare for, for us. <laughs> <laughs> they were a different day. <laughs> wait, did you do stand up on these shows or did you have to do, uh, like, did you open it? I was in the band. So I'm in. I, you rejoined the band. I rejoined the band. I played <laughs> trumpet. I'm in the band. We it, we had a 45 minute preset. Like I guess the the stream started 45 minutes before the show. Got it. Yeah, and Tony told me the day before I'm just gonna have you start with the band. Usually I'm in the band, but I I have a microphone and I just kind of chime in with jokes, kind of like on panel, but in the band. So this time he's like, I want you to just since it's this big arena and there's a lot of production happening, start with the band. So right before uh, I just. I don't know any other songs. And you get these like <laughs> so inner ears. Smart. It's a nine piece band. This is great. They've been working yeah. on their songs for months. Yeah. And then I come in. They rehearse yeah. and then here comes no cavity. Tony said I could play with you guys. <laughs> They're like, great. But then they, I acknowledged, <laughs> you know, hey, I know I'm new here. And they accepted me, but I didn't have an earpiece. So you can hear not only like all the musicians on this huge stage, there's like 10,000 people there. So it's like a yeah. big room and I, I couldn't hear anything. I didn't know their songs. Uh, it was kind of rough, wow. but I just uh, faked it. So you nice. make it. Yeah. That's what we got to do. Bad. And yeah, then the yeah. next night I did have an earpiece and I could hear like the guitar player would be like, okay, we're going to play an A flat. We're moving to the bridge. Like, Oh, you know how to do all that? Yeah, like I mean, it helps trumpet? when you know a little bit what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the second night on New Year's Eve was really good. But I don't know. Is but this interesting? First, <laughs> no, no. It, not, nothing you say out. is interesting. <laughs> cut it, guys. Bleep it. She's So far, she's bleeped. She's yeah. cut. I mean, come on. This girl, <laughs> she just got passed, what, three weeks ago? And you're just she's fucking throwing it? She's already given more orders to the production didn't crew she than us mic, Didn't you mic drop it out of here as well? <laughs> mic drop this later. <laughs> Wait. you smash it? Didn't she, like, uh, I got a gig, I fucking quit upstairs? Didn't she do that? Uh, from what I heard, I I don't believe know Rick and I witnessed. It. She she walked up to the manager, yeah, slapped him, Richie. open handed, I like this. Across the yeah. face. So he's hard, yeah. yeah Richie and, kinda liked it. And right. he immediately was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> finally, someone's got some guts around here. You got a raise. And she was like, no, no, fuck no, no, that. I'm quitting. Quit. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, next guy to hit me gets a raise. And then all the doormen were like, well, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that exactly. <laughs> And he was like, that's the problem with this generation. And then he pulled out McGriddles and yes. smacked them on that's everybody's the, uh, faces. But the greatest invention. The Comedy Store Podcast brought Guys, to you by the greatest in. invention of all time. McGriddles. Get them at McDonald's. <laughs> they Do put you... the syrup in the pancake. <laughs> <laughs> that's an actual Richie quote, FYI. Yeah. He said, it. what did he say? It was the greatest invention of greatest all time? Greatest invention of all time. Of all time. Yeah. 
Yeah. That sounds true. Over, like, would you think of, uh, when you think of inventions, Yeah. do you ever think of the McGriddle? Could you think Just of something better question. than a McDonald's breakfast sandwich? I feel like an actual griddle is better than a McGriddle. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's I'm the a, Richie. Uh, Brown Restore <laughs> Podcast brought Guys. by Jet Skis Griddles. <laughs> you should get in. Her you new should merch. take out George Foreman. Uh, something yeah. to consider. Yeah. Jet I like Skis that griddles. idea. Yeah, yeah. And Yay. That was exactly what Foreman did. Don't get involved, really. Just put your name on it and just pretend you really but re- are interested. But also, it's a different time, so you're going to have to hit social media hard, really talking shit about George Foreman. I like the this. Man now I grill. like this. He does have a lot of kids, and they're all they're named all the named same George, thing. So. You can work with that. <laughs> it's hard to... <laughs> um, he's an aggressive cis male, so you can pretty much say what you want I'm about gonna him. I'm going to spell my name with a G. Jet ski with a G. Ooh, it's like a rival. Threat. I like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I do need some more heat on um, social media. Do you have any rivalries? Game. No. Comedy I rivalries? Would like I mean, one, other than Bobby Lee. Isn't Bobby Lee a rival no, for you? I love Bobby. Just because he gave you a hat, you love him? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. That, he gave her that hat. Honestly, the- it's a pretty cool hat. It is really. I love the color. I do. Bobby's become a great mentor to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, he's not you listening. You said that like, uh, honestly, like you were kidnapped. I, I like there was on... a gun to my head. Yeah. Definitely. Bobby has been a great mentor to me. <laughs> Just he staring has... right into the camera. He's taught me everything I know. He Bobby, gave me this hat. Bobby's and... <laughs> responsible for more people at the comedy store. Than oh yeah, yeah. We, I, the amount of times we girls. ask people like, "Hey, so how'd you get?" And they're like, "Well, Bobby Lee." And I'm like, "God damn it, another Bobby Lee." <laughs> he's got to have like. He's got to have at least 25 yeah, yeah. regulars in the last Under his 15 belt. years. Oh, yeah. That, the whole podcast changed Maybe my life. Maybe more than them. Oh, yeah. But How I'm did you saying, get like, on this podcast? Park in his that? car. I'd be <sighs> working the lot, and he would just, like, we'd riff and talk, like, with you guys and yeah. become friends Hold with him. Hold on. Rick and... worked the lot, too, for a long time. Nobody ever asked him to be on his yeah. podcast. <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. Shit, <laughs> I did. What are you trying to be, huh? Just, you know how excited he was to work with Jetski that he's like, I'm bringing my fucking Yeah, you were keys. late. Was that a power was, move? It's, I mean, it's how always <laughs> move. Were you like waiting you in your car late. down the Is street? I, I, I actually parked up the hill for an hour. And then You're I like, said, waiting. we're going to let, yeah. let Jetski sit. She's not been a regular that long. Yeah, yeah. Let's make her suffer. He's sweating it out. Let's make her suffer. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. You actually, you have comedy store stories. You know things like. Yes, we. I prefer to have people on who know a bunch of stories that they know they can't tell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. And then you, there's a lot of that. I uh, know I better not tell that one. I or didn't... I shouldn't say his name. I'm, I'm just no, saying. No, I, I, I was just I didn't mean to say. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw a gender out there, if you, but if you monitor had, went off. If are you we had out? to uh, get rid of three paid regulars, <laughs> okay, yeah, forever. Fuck Mary, no, kill. Fuck it. Mary, kill. Come on. <laughs> oh, I do need a rival, though. A rival? Yeah, yeah let's get one. I Mine was Dalia. It was. Uh, oh yeah, that's true. It was. And, and so when he good. would bring me on stage, he would discuss how we were rivals. <laughs> and then one day he was like, "Why are we rivals?" And I'm like, "Dude." You fucking know why, dude. <laughs> Wait till he finds out I did this today. <laughs> He's well, never done it. I am he on. didn't do it. I, I. What's funny is I sent him about maybe twenty five texts over like ten years. So I was like, "Hey, you're on the lineup on Thursday. Can you do the podcast?" <laughs> and just never responded ever. Not once in ten years. And so then one time became, he did tell me he had a headache, and I was like, "Wow, I didn't." think we were fucking but i like yeah. what's happening it's so funny because i heard this on one of your podcasts yeah what him say your oh, podcast yeah, yeah. Yeah, talking yeah. about it and i don't and i listened to two of them i listened to one the most recent one and then one with bobby on it a while back oh, okay i did my research was well, wait you know the one on. <laughs> yeah the one with bobby was that which was the one where they made up because that's where really we already made up to. I didn't finish it. Wow. But, okay. No, yeah, but if you started it, <laughs> you would have known that we didn't talk to each other. Listen, I skipped around. She's, listen, she's lying through her teeth. She didn't, she didn't even know we had a, a podcast. Fucking thing, man. <laughs> Joke's on her. We're not even recording right no, now. No, not this at all. Just we just wanted you in the basement. I do have a big fear I'm a make away It's an interrogation. 100%. Yeah. We put this whole room together just for you. <laughs> 
Even those plants. Now Rick I know you're lying. The, the comedy store would never invest in that. <laughs> that rock, we we dug that up and we cut out the geode. But Bobby was talking. reality. He was talking about your thing with Bill Burr when you did the taping for it. And you were saying that, and Bobby said that taping will do more for you than any spot you've ever done at the comedy store. Yeah. And I was just laughing because that was from like years ago. And I think Chris Rock found you here at the comedy store. And yeah. yes, he I did. think that did a lot more yes, than your taping with well, Bill Burr. I, there was a lot of conversation with people like, this is going to be great for you and then also the pandemic yeah. hit. like we it, aired right before oh, the pandemic oh I didn't realize mine, that time yeah, yeah, mine yeah. literally came out I think the second week of mine was January 25th and we closed what February mine came out at the beginning March. of April it's like who's ready right. to laugh in, in or March. maybe mine was in March yeah. and yours was in April yeah cause it was like they but spread them out there we were... was no comedy so I couldn't even be like hey I got this thing on Comedy Central right now I was just like well that's over and but it I, worked out. There was a lot of people who said that the pandemic happened because there yes. was buzz that I was going to be on TV. <laughs> you think a pandemic? And Comedy Central was like, you know what? We've they went a under. Monster. This is like the <laughs> they went under right after because yeah. of Rick. <laughs> All the companies that like stopped doing AI because they're so scared. That's what happened with Hollywood. I heard Fauci hates your guts. Dude, yeah, Fauci. First of all. You're a coward and you know it. All right. That's, I don't know why you're looking right at the What's camera. Tony? I'm Is supposed to cheat. But... I like him. Yeah, I still Anthony like him. Anthony Fauci. Anthony, Tony, yeah. I, I like don't even, I, I don't even care if he lied about it all. Great guy. <laughs> He's Love very likable. Little, likable. Yeah. Little people like to lie and talk big. Little I people? I love it. Oh, I, oh. I, uh, he wouldn't be considered little people, right? I think little people is the appropriate <laughs> term for people who are little but normal. <laughs> like in the inside. I don't like the term little people for midgets because yeah, because they're midgets. They're midgets. They're just right. people. Just people. Wait, how old are you? Eight. What generation is this? Thirty-three. What gen? No, wait, wait. What generation do you go? What letter are you? M. She's for a millennial. millennial. <laughs> <laughs> she's I don't the know one what you meant. Yeah, like, but in my one, head, I'm like, generation. She's the one M? that doesn't have a letter. Yeah, yes. Y. That's right. Your, why X bother? What are we? Uh, X? Y? You're y X. Z? I'm oh. a millennial. I'm you're the not? oldest of the millennials. Oh, you're an old millennial? I thought Argus oh, was crazy this. for a decade. I thought you'd say Argus was the oldest millennial. <laughs> <laughs> no, Argus used to always go, Rich is the best of the millennials. And I'd be like, I'm not even that generation. A fucking idiot. Right. And, and then, then you looked it up and you were? Yeah, yeah. Someone, <gasps> someone did the math, and it turns out I'm self-hating, and that's why I refocused all my hate towards Gen Z because I like. You got to scoop down. Yeah, you make yeah. well. You you respect the boomers. God no, they're the worst of the worst, <laughs> but they are the best audience members in comedy. Oh, yeah. I agree. They don't give up. I oh. definitely. Can we say the F word on here? Yeah. All right. What I the won't, fuck? But I are you Please crazy? <laughs> yeah, you should. Why are you afraid to say the F word? Uh, you don't a, curse, really, do you? Yeah, I do sometimes. Fuck I gotta yeah. feel it, though, you know? Yeah, yeah, you, you don't just Are there words you there. won't say other than obvious ones? <laughs> like, you're just talking about the N word? Yeah. Yeah, no, I won't do that one. Uh, uh, do you do other ones? <laughs> um, I don't that do that. That's the most genuine. Are you, are you talking about the N word? Like, I don't yeah, do the, yeah. the C word. You don't say for, cunt? For Asians. I'll oh, say the one oh, for yeah, women. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, but cool. you'll shit on women. All right, yeah. I get if it. It's, no, I'm kidding. I am oh, one. I can do it. This is a Tony Hinchcliffe thing. Uh, you know, I don't want to uh, step on ass. Yeah, all right. See, yeah, he's, Tony. He's stealing this is, his bit. This is good brainwashing, so Tony. I like it. <laughs> My feeling is if you don't say cunt regularly in America. You're an asshole. You're a cunt. Yeah. When you, when you say it overseas, which you have to if you want them to like you. True. Really? It's going to sound I haven't, unnatural. I did two shows in Canada. I have not ventured. Overseas. That's not overseas. That's, that's Canada. That's in the attic of America. <laughs> that's that's just, we saying. flew a long time. It, yeah, I, I could see. Where did you go? <laughs> we flew a long time. <laughs> How long? Vancouver, Toronto. That's three hours. I felt way longer. From L.A.? It was international no, from air. from Seattle. Some of that like, air is French, so it does feel longer probably. Yeah. When you go to New York, are you like, this is so long? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. And you're you you're there, Arizona you're like, baby. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember that. I haven't done first class yet. Seats are too small. I'll say it. <sighs> the seats are too small. Like you're saying, there's not much of a difference. Oh, I've never done first class, but in in the back, I'm in the I I'm, I'm way you. in the back. I can tell yeah, you yeah. that <laughs> the first class is way way better. Yeah, 100%. every time I walk on when I'm on Bad Friends, Bobby's in first class, and when I walk on, he'll go like. This. 
And he's like, "Tisa, it's like you're going to the smelly area." Yeah, so smart, <laughs> so kind. That's so nice. Dice calls it last class. That's hilarious. La- get I back like in last class. I'm like, I. All right. The Irish. That's what I always call it. <laughs> back with the Irish. And if you're Irish and offended by that, you're not Too really bad. Irish. But I do. I I like first class. I do fly first class a lot. But oh, must be nice. Yeah. I'll tell you what's day. terrible is once you get to do that and then, and then you, you have don't. to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to know the difference. I think tomorrow yeah. I'm not upgraded yet and I'm very upset. Yeah. Where you go tomorrow? Philadelphia. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. You got a problem with that? Uh, <laughs> no. hey, hey, come on. That's too many episodes in a row, man. I can't help it. You would just say Philadelphia. That's what you get. It hurts. <laughs> Hey, come by, see your family. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to go to Kansas City with the Kansas City? F- Is that what you want? Jeez. I'm sorry. That she came says out all wrong. the F words. So, oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry guys. It's a line from yeah, Blazing I mean, she's, Saddles. She's doing Mel Brooks stuff. Yeah. Guys. It's a quote. It's okay if it's Mel Brooks. Uh, let's, let's get that right. You can say slurs and references, right? Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was about people from Kansas City. So, so no harm, no foul. Funny. Those are my peeps. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. accurate. Um, Wait. What part of Arizona? Phoenix. But I moved a lot. so. I, what does that mean? Were you a serial killer? <laughs> yeah, I had to keep a low profile. Dude, that's so smart. Yeah. That explains the glasses. A lot of different schools. Okay. I, I like changed this. my name a lot. Okay. Were your parents in the military? No. My dad, well, kind of. My dad, um, he's a drummer, and that's like his dream, but he went to school to, for the family and uh, got his engineering degree, worked on the FAA for planes for a long time, and then became a rocket scientist. So he would work on rockets for the Navy. Okay. But, but he's a drummer? But his true passion is being a drummer. <laughs> oh, see, I feel like I, uh, I have to mention that because he's in a band So you're now. saying that's why we haven't been to the moon. I'm saying <laughs> it concerns me that the demeanor of drummers, and I hate to stereotype, <laughs> but they're not of the mindset that you want building just, rockets. He's just like, yeah, that's related. good. <laughs> Eleanor, there's a thing with the vibrations and it makes I'm their so brains sorry. crazy. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's anyway, what they can't he seems hear. like a good dude. What's his name? Does he have a good name? <laughs> I don't. I'm not gonna say his name on here. No, yeah, don't. Smart. Don't yeah. you dare. This nice is a huge try. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> almost had him. We almost got to the bottom of the drumming rocket conspiracy. <laughs> it started it at least. And do they? Do, does he support what you do? Is he loving what you do? Yeah. I mean, now that you're playing the trumpet, trumpet. Oh, I thought you were going to say now that I'm playing the arenas. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> now that you're trumpeting in, the, in yeah. arenas. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he he's a more excited every step of my. Oh, that's it's nice. funny. I feel everybody has the story when they get past, but he's just like, like, what does that mean? Getting past. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm telling him about you know the getting to work out here, and you know I worked so long to be here, and yeah. the name on the wall, and and then I and then I could tell he just wasn't getting it, and I was like, I'm starting to get paid for the spots here. And he's like, <laughs> That's so awesome! I'm so proud. Paid of you. regular, oh, okay. yeah, not just a regular who hangs out, <laughs> just a, a <laughs> paid saying, regular. Yeah, that this isn't a hobby necessarily. Right. I think that's all that he just worries that it you know that it won't pay Pan off. Out. That's because yeah. he's like, well, I became a rocket scientist. What are you going to do, <laughs> what you, What's your oh, yeah. side hustle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's your side hustle? By the way, his side hustle it's was rock... Of course, uh, back uh, then uh, I was moonlighting I as it. a rocket scientist. I can't moonlighting? even say rocket scientist. It was like, you know, over his whole career, so he, he built the way up, but he would work, you know, not nine to five or whatever every day, and then Friday, Saturday, play in his band. Yeah. But he's retired now, and he joined a new band, an Irish rock band. Ooh. They wear kilts. Whoa. <laughs> like, he's very That's happy. Scottish, isn't uh, it? Free balling. Oh, yeah. Well, he was playing an Irish rock band forever, but his new band is like, it's a Celtic uh, oh, band. So okay. I nuts, said Irish nuts rock Nuts to the wind. I guess so. I told him because they're playing in Florida. And, That's going to make and, him like, hang lower for the drumming and everything. <laughs> like, he's sitting, and then the he's vibrations is just going to pull them <laughs> The gravity's really gonna go. Listen, this is the kind of thing I want drummers doing. Yeah, that's rocket free science. Free balling <laughs> in <laughs> kilts. It's gonna. If you say, uh, "Do you know who's free balling in a kilt?" And I go, "Who?" And I go, "That drummer guy." I go, "Yeah, that fucking makes sense. rocket science." Oh yeah, that's amazing. They all wear them. He's like, "I gotta go buy a kilt now for yeah. for this." <laughs> Where does one buy a kilt? 
Yeah, can you get that on Amazon or do you have to well, go to a kilt store? I think he found one online he really likes, but uh, he was worried about how expensive it's going to be. And I was sure. like, you can write it off on your taxes. And he was like, well, yeah, but you have to prove that you're only wearing it for a performance. And I was like, it sounds it's like a leisure kilt. time. It sounds like, it sounds like leisure what, time. Where else kilt are you wearing, wearing it? Coming. <laughs> when else are you going to wear it to the grocery store? Yep. This is my kilt for the groceries. This is when I'm going produce only. Yeah. <laughs> my That's grocery insane. kilt. My grocery kilt. I'm excited. To hear I like more. this guy. Is he Listen, single? On, on no, sitcom, he's remarried. On your sitcom, dad's always in a kilt. That's the exciting. Please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It has to be. And never give an explanation. It's got like a Marilyn either. Monroe moment. <laughs> yeah. The, on the subway. I like that. The skirt blows up. Uh, that should be just on the opening title. <laughs> it, it needs an 80s television sitcom opening scene where your dad comes up the stairs, and blows it up. And, and then they just, yeah. Freeze frame. Zoom in. <laughs> Anyway, can we pull it up? Is that the balls? Can we get, that can we get the balls that? like oh, wait till, like We don't have future ooh, videos. Wait till the AI is rocking next yes. year. That's gonna happen. What's that? Um, when they play the the music real loud and the guy's face kind of goes like like his, face melting. You see his skin oh, kind of yeah. blowing in the wind. With the, the sound waves. Kind, kind of. of yeah, I want him. his balls to do that. Oh, come on, it's Eleanor. my dad. It's a, this poor girl's oh. dad. She's. <laughs> Hey, 17 years old. Her father. I'm a little lonely. I apologize for that. You 17? No wonder why you're on this show. Uh, uh, wait, I thought Crystal Lee was your rival. <laughs> I've been working for him all along. I'm going to get a bunch of shit for saying that earlier. Don't we? It wasn't even a great well, I'm story. Kidding. <laughs> why did you bring that up? It's so Dude, funny. because you're excited to start a rivalry. That's really yeah. what this is all about. <laughs> Burning bridges to places you don't want to Burn go. all the bridges. How long have you you been doing stand up 12 years in March. Woo! I was just thinking about that today. You started in Phoenix, mm -hmm. a dozen. Where do you, wow. do you do Tempe Improv? Where do you start? If you're, a I comedian... started the coolest place ever. It was called the Ice House Comedy Rink, but not like the one in Pasadena. It was okay. a dive bar attached to a hockey rink behind a Walmart. It was like <sighs> you had you had to like know where it was to find it. And everybody whole, does. Yeah, the whole wall <laughs> behind the bar was a glass window to the rink. Mm -hmm. So you'd be like telling jokes to like ten people. Most of them were watching like their son in regionals playing and yeah. having a drink. It's and like great. you'd like tell a punchline and, and like a fight would break out on the glass and it was it oh, was really fun to so start good. there because you, I felt like you kind of like cut your teeth a little sure. bit. Sure. Yeah. And you're like it it can really only get better. Yeah. Like if I go to a place without hockey, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> can you imagine how crazy of you're like you guys don't have be? hockey sticks? What the fuck? Yeah, I like that. We got to get her up to Edmonton. If you're into hockey Ooh. as a sideshow, do you work House of Comedy? I'm going to Detroit in uh, in February at House of Comedy there. Nice headlining. Yeah, good girl. One nighter. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm excited. For work that. your way in. Nice. Uh, I haven't done the Detroit one yet, but Edmonton is nice. They have a hockey rink in the middle, so you can feel comfortable of it's, the mall. It's not attached to the comedy club, uh, but they're it. in the same mall. <laughs> it's, it, you can I'll throw never a, perform there. You can throw a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to her, Tam. She's kidding. <laughs> um, oh, no, she's awesome. I met her here when she was when, during your special. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She Tammy's was the best. Yeah, she's awesome. Very funny lady. Yeah. A little wild. I've had some fun times. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, so let's... Uh... I didn't mean to look at Rick, but she's... <laughs> we hang out a lot. We Where was Montreal? Weren't we in Montreal yeah, we with, her? with her? Montreal. She was little... <laughs> she's great. <laughs> so funny. Just at a certain point of the night, just telling it like it yes, is. Yes. Yeah, I got to that. Yeah. And we were like, yeah. I'm like, this is the right person to be talking to. <laughs> Dude, get her on the podcast. I, <laughs> oh, I love it. I would love it. I yeah. got to Montreal, and as soon as people started talking to me, like outside in the commentary, I was just like, man, I hate most of these people. What am I doing here? It was like everyone's all nice and jolly. What is like, this for? Just for laughs? Or? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's basically it's just, it was just spring break. It was spring break yeah. for the industry. Yeah. Um, and it was like the ten people I like cool to see them but then i had to talk to like 70 people who i would rather never see for the rest of my life well yeah i can't wait to go someday oh no you should definitely go you should go yeah definitely we we weren't invited like 
from I, Montreal. If I get invited, yeah. I'll be like, we were invited yeah. through the Rick comedy Ingram store. told me how shitty this festival <laughs> is. They didn't, I'm they didn't out. Me there. <laughs> they <laughs> haven't wanted me there for 20 years. We can shit on it because they didn't invite us. <laughs> the comedy store had to put on a show and, oh, and yeah. invite and us. us on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not too long ago. Right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, but we, it wasn't Plus the like. City. It's it's basically Buffalo. Well, I know how you feel about <laughs> Canadians. <laughs> it's yeah. It's... Do you know what the other night I was on and this lady was from uh this couple was from um, Canada. I don't remember exactly where. And I go, oh, did Rick get you? You were on the first show. And they go, who's Rick? So I just started God ripping it, Canadians. I, I was like, oh fuck, I, he was on the first show. So I'll I'll do it. Yeah. First of all, oh, that's awesome. I don't know what, which Canadian it was, but to say who's Rick, to act like we don't have beef when we clearly do, I don't even know if these cameras are on. They're not. The I monitor like, went off. I feel off like Canada is, is watching live. That's how I like to. Let me tell you something, Trudeau. <laughs> Trudeau. Is that his name? I don't know. Is he married to Jesse, Jennifer Aniston? Jesse Smollett Trudeau. <laughs> yeah, that's that guy. I don't know any of them. Trudeau. Oh, that's the. When I was in Edmonton, Prime Minister. I, uh, I just knew that it's like the Texas of Canada, and I knew that they all hated him. So at one point, I was just like, "What's up with Trudeau?" And they all just started booing me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wasn't he married or dated Matthew Perry's mom? The, oh, too soon. Uh, hold on. Too I soon. I read his book. <laughs> no, I no, think we mean that's recently. Who it was. Since it was since he died. He, no, 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 no. She's married to that. <laughs> she's married the to that other shocked, dude. Like, what? <laughs> we dropped the, the tea the here. <laughs> Get your tea here. This is the Boston Tea you Party. Really swooped in on that morning mother. <laughs> no, Such she's married to move. some other guy. That's like a news guy. It's even more scandalous. Yeah, I can't think of his name. But yeah, they they were Canadian. She he did a whole chapter about that family. Well, remember that Canadian, how much he didn't like them. He that, said terrible things about them. That wow. Canadian door guy who uh, died mysteriously in Mexico. But, oh yeah, 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 um, yeah. Was kind of a lunatic. He he got a little he, nutty. He, he got went, a little nutty. He went down some. He was the nicest guy. He was him. super nice, and then at some point he went crazy, and and then. Um, and some people are still like, he was a good guy. I'm like, was he? <laughs> but he, uh, he. We're not saying his name, Jetski. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can be affiliated. I started, re I started reading this some of the posts mine. he made, and it was so exciting. And it was all like, just so you know, the. the oh, when he was spiraling? Yeah. yeah. He's like, the prime minister of Canada's true father is Fidel Castro, and we all know it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like reading it, like, and then I'm like Googling it, like, is this shit real? And they're like really <laughs> crazy weird. people that this is their conspiracy theory. Like in Canada, this is the. Oh, that's the big, awesome. This is the thing that gets the right, the far right crazy people all worked up. Is I it, love How it. communist is this guy? That's Castro's kid. <laughs> And then they have pictures of his dad, who was the prime minister of Canada, yeah. and his mom and Castro at some meeting. And everyone's like, I bet it was that night. Like, yeah, I, Good I believe it. I love conspiracy theories. Are really? You, are you in on them? I used to be. What do you mean you used to be? Nobody got, gets out. She got smart. You can't I got out. What I got out. There's no such thing. It it's, did feel like I was brainwashed for a while, which probably explains a lot. What was your biggest thing? Let's see. There was conspiracy. I well, mean. we've talked about reptilian shapeshifters before. I think. Oh, I love shapeshifters. Yeah, I was like big on. I really thought aliens were running the place. This place, America. Yeah, I oh, never oh, thought. Like, I a, thought you meant the comedy store. Yeah. I wish I got into like a worldwide conspiracy theories. It would be nice that something yeah. to bring people together. So you think <laughs> yeah. that shapeshifters, the lizard people, I was really aliens. into harp. Um, what was is that? that a, is that a racial slur? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you harps? Whoa. That was harps, man? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Like a new harlot. I think she's saying we're fruity. Like <laughs> yeah. we play a harp like a yeah, it's cherub it's or Irish something. slur. Couple All right. Of harps wow. on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Couple yeah. of harps over <laughs> here. <new> snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's like a highly active a rural research project, something like that. Okay, it's like H A A R P. Can we bring that up? Is that? Uh, <laughs> No, I, I was, love when you get this confidence. Can we bring it for, up? Man, he works for the man. I saw him falling asleep back there. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, are you here? She 
Jeopardy is so. Here's the thing about conspiracy theories that people don't want to talk about. Okay. Finally. The only people who buy into them are people who are dumb enough right. to think. I like where this is going already. This is the way to prove I'm smart. <laughs> I'm, yeah, that checks out yeah. in my timeline. Okay. And it's like, you know what? I don't know, but maybe that's the thing. And then they High just start frequency believing. frequency active. Or, oh, okay. It's like weather control. Harp. In Alaska. In oh, yeah, because my nephew brought this up, and he goes, uh Was this like Chinese chemtrails and this shit? No, bigger. Think bigger. <laughs> yeah, the Chinese are making it rain. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Is this a strip rain? club? What's happening? But they were saying that they can make they can make the weather. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't like to look into things because I'm a problem. And uh, Are you big conspiracy now? No, but I'll just start reading stuff and be like, what? Yeah. yeah. I don't need to get a second opinion on this. It says it right here on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Established in 1993. So you know it's real. Oh, yeah. All right, so here's <laughs> the, field the thing. research. Our government is up to nothing. They've no. got nothing going on behind closed doors. Right. Everything is incredibly boring and yes. a, a corrupt but unimportant system. Okay. And the only people who are really running things, and I think we all know this, are the, the people who run Walmart. I like that. The I Waltons. Like that. Oh, yeah. No, I believe them? that. They, the but they pay off the government. Wait a minute. Like from the TV show in the 70s? <laughs> I think that's, yeah. I think the show was so popular that they when were they able to buy Walmart. When they close Walmart, do they go, good night, John Boy? Listen, Walmart. Is that the end of it? <laughs> yep. Uh, that's a, she's laughing. She don't even know what that means. Walmart. No, but I get enough of the context. <laughs> she, she's like, oh, they're talking about old timey TV shit. Yeah. These so old. funny. These come all harps. Uh, <laughs> we're over here harping this right This elderly in millennial face. and this nearly dead woman are hilarious. <laughs> and we didn't need televisions to be yeah. rectangles. It was perfectly fine as a square. <laughs> Established in 1993. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that thing's brand new. Listen, uh, I don't think we need to worry about it. Yeah, I like that. And if the Chinese government can control the weather, what's the problem? Yeah. I saw a thing that the Chinese <laughs> Let's government just hope released. Feng Chao is, is running everything. All the snow is going to say made in China, though. <laughs> if, listen, if Feng Chao is involved, then I'm out. Each snowflake says made in China, she wants it. So if we can get Feng Chao to do that, that's pretty pr impressive. We can get it cheaper if we do it in Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not just sad, okay? Snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. <laughs> Sorry. So when you it's arrived right. here, who was running the show? Emily. Well, wait. When I arrived to the comedy store, Adam was. Yeah, not Tommy. You didn't have no, Tommy. No, I missed oh, Tommy. Man. So Adam was in charge. Yeah. And was he nice to you? He was really nice, but he was like, you know, moves around so fast. I never really got uh, to meet everything's him. Everything's on fire. Yeah, uh, now I, I know. know. Well, from oh, going to, the... to talk to Jet Ski. <laughs> <laughs> I know him well I now from the mother shit. to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now you know him more from the mothership. Yeah. Adam from the mothership. Yeah, yeah now he's Adam. He wow. <laughs> Adam me, from get, the mothership. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Who you beaming up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great guy. Um, yeah, we love to torture. And then so you got hired by... By Emily. Emily hired you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hired you as a um, door person. Uh, yeah. And then Richie became your boss. Yeah, Richie was my boss. It's a great to go from mentor, Emily to Richie. Adult mentor. <laughs> yeah. all the way. Oh, mentor. Richie is so funny. I remember one time trying to think of a podcast idea to start myself. Like, what could I do? And uh, Morgan, who works there, was like, you should do something where people come on and teach you something. And then Richie walked up. We're in that back hallway. And I'm like, hey, Richie. I tell him the idea. I'm going, like, what would you teach me? And he goes, I teach you how to make a woman squirt. And then I go, Richie, you're my boss. And then he goes, this is how you do it. Like, I didn't ask for follow-ups. He goes, you just got to make her relaxed. That's it? And that's it. That's it? And then, and then he has to give her a griddle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> 23 second episode. That's it. Just and, then he's walks out. and then later he's like, you guys got to take out the trash in there. And I'm like... I, I can't don't take you serious. <laughs> I'm not taking you serious, bro. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. You yeah. gotta make her relax. 
You just gotta make her. Yeah, like. that's like such a cool guy. <laughs> to me, why, why are you teaching me that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you geez. asked what I could teach you. <laughs> that's all I know Not how to do. Oh, it's so funny. So many Richie stories. Oh yeah, yeah, the he's best. the king. Yeah, yeah, we have billions of Richie. Uh, Rick, <laughs> work, rich. work rich worked with Richie during the day as well. He was my at boss a different at mul- job, multiple day jobs. <laughs> it was a Multi- not just at the store. No, no. Well, because I, I know Richie, he manages something else too. Yeah, at one point he was the <laughs> uh, he was the house manager of a post production house that, <laughs> that edited <laughs> TV commercials mostly, a couple of films and. I can't imagine um, him. How funny is that? He, like he, a real job. He gave me a call one day and was like, hey, you want to come drive for me? And I was like, <laughs> sure. And then my mind was just blown. It was like this big corporate. They had like 10 <laughs> editing bays and producer bays and, and like all this stuff. Here's and Richie's the boss. walking around. He's talking loogies in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, one of your jobs, when you get here in the morning, some of the editors, uh, they're a little loose with the party favors. <laughs> no. So you, you're going to have to show up early, scrape them into some sort of an envelope or whatever it is. <laughs> Don't throw it out. Do not throw it out. <laughs> it's like, all right. Like, uh-huh. <sighs> and it, you just do what you got to do. And then... And, uh- <laughs> And Don't throw it we, out. We all got fired from that job, like maybe a year later. And I don't I see like, why. I was out of work. That's so weird. <laughs> and then, uh, and then he got hired at some other place. And then he called me, and it was like the rival. And it was like the head guy got fired, and that was the guy who protected Richie. Right. And so then Richie got fired, and then that was the guy who was protecting me. So I got fired. <laughs> and then the dude just trickle went effect across the street. And then rehired Richie, and then Richie <laughs> rehired me, and then we just did nothing over there. Yeah, it's just like Animal House. You're just sitting on the other side, bothering them from best that direction. <laughs> oh yeah, he's the best boss. When we, the door guys, I hear them now, like they take them too seriously. I'm like, the oh, way yeah. to work with Richie is just don't, like, don't take them, don't take them seriously. At all. <laughs> he's the best. He's got a heart of gold. When I moved to my own apartment, oh yeah, he'll do anything. Yeah, for he him. like ordered extra cleaning supplies <laughs> and Aww. gave me like a bucket. Them and Damn. You probably shouldn't say that on here. Can we beat I, that? As, as I was saying, I was like, this is more controversial than the Send other that. guy. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Send that to Peter. Uh, <laughs> Peter's going to be like... <laughs> but classic Richie. Because, classic Richie. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of... Richie. Rick, you got to go to Smart and Final and uh, why don't you lose a couple of cases of water? <laughs> what? <laughs> Awesome. I'm sure he was great. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that big tub of pretzels, that's for you. <laughs> I don't want big tub of pretzels. Well, we don't want them either, so be <laughs> yours. You can sell them. Uh, all right. Yeah. I heard a good boss to have. My first day at working, I was back door, and I heard that I thought someone was throwing up on the, the side, and then I and then Richie walks up, and he was just, that's when I learned he hawks loogies that's, all yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's fun to Charming. see the new, the new people getting hired, like, learning it. Yeah. They're like, like, oh. you're okay. yeah. you're like, you'll get used to it. <laughs> Just move the cars. Mind your business. I'm fine. <laughs> you get some out of some. Are you all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like a 90s movie character where you just keep doing it where you're like, that can't be right. <laughs> where are you clearing? What's clearing out? What part of your head is that? It's is like that your nose? Is that your throat? From your thigh? Like That's part, really Is that the brain deep. stem? What is yeah. that? <laughs> Please, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, that's normal. Come. Oh, God. That's so bad. Yeah, and my then roommate. Would, and then it's... All day, he would just challenge any minority who worked there to foot races. Always funny. And by the way, and that's uh, when and, we and that went both ways. There, there would be like some of the black dudes in the shipping department would be like, "Richie, we're racing today." <laughs> and, and Richie would be like, "Let's do this." <laughs> And you stop doing that. These we, are all no, grown ass men, and they're just yeah. constantly pulling hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> and not Richie, though. No, Richie's, Richie's just lying he's in his yeah. loafers. He just yeah. wanted to show up. In out loafers. Yeah. That's how, when we used to live together right behind the comedy store, we, he would literally, like him and my old boyfriend and this other guy, Rob, he'd be like, come on, we're going out the race. And my old boyfriend's like, no, race. we're not. 
We're not doing. Drummond, first of all, we're in the Drummond, hills. Who we're in the Dunham hills. Into foot races is, is so amazing. So funny. So fucking funny. He tried to fire Dave Waite because Dave Waite's a paid regular. Wouldn't here. race him. Oh <laughs> no, no, no. But Dave Waite's a paid regular here, and he still works here as a door guy. Yeah. And one day Dave was like. He, oh, He's no Jet Ski Johnson. He didn't mic drop it the second he got passed. No, he's still working here tonight. He's seeing people in the main room. I saw him earlier. Yeah. Yeah, this is like six months ago that he got passed. Set pathetic. This might be your You can say it. This This is your rival. rival. Yeah. I love Dave. And so, do this, I. so he looked so forlorn in the corner. I was like, what's going on? And he's like, Richie just said I'm fired. And I was like, Dave. Don't listen it's to him. It's not real. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't, I told him, I was like, if you just show up, and, if you if you keep showing up and clocking in, <laughs> you're not fired. We all told him that, and like six months later, he's, yeah, he's still, still working here. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The thing is, is he, was he trying to like say you should quit, no, or was, was Rich, he really telling him you're fired? This is Richie's way being of, erasing of, him. Of, yeah, being like. Congrats on getting passed. You're fired. You're fired. Right, yeah. right, right. Like now right. that you're regular, you can't be a doorman. You're <laughs> right. fired. But, yeah, nothing I mean, happened, just, though. Yeah. But it was so funny. He will he used to like be like, no door guys are getting spots anymore. And everyone would freak out and be like, it's not real. That's <laughs> so <laughs> no, funny. Don't worry about that. Wait, did tripping. you showcase with him? How long ago did you guys No, did he you got get passed, passed before me. I, um, oh. oh, so you're more recent. Yeah. How long? I A week? It's. I'm kidding. It's hard to remember because they just announced it on Christmas, but it was like a, a month or two months before that. Oh. So your showcase was my showcase was, and then you had to wait a month, to- oh, like two months. Yeah, because they're doing like a new system now. I think. No, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I'll fix it. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm Emily needs then, more things. To Emily, you know, we're gonna have a have a talk. I'm gonna uh, text her right now. <laughs> Emily, no, jet, jet what Jetski jet said was, <laughs> "Are we almost done? I got a hard out here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hard out, bitch. Hold uh, on, uh, we got a hard out for Mitch. <laughs> got a great show for you. Oh shit, she's great. She looks like she's from the '70s too, huh? What? Uh, where can the Where can the kids find you? The yeah. the millennials. Where the can M's, they find? Jen- are we really yeah. done? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I mean, I want you to. My stay. heart out is at 11:45. Oh, <laughs> That's wow. my then... spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to tell us which three uh, paid regulars you would strip the right. power to. It's uncomfortable if you're not going to drop names uh, yeah, you can't or make do- decisions. What about phys- physically? Phys- Three people whose faces you find so offensive, you just don't want to see them. Or like, who could I take in a fight? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Let's who, do that. Who do you think you could think fight? Think you could fight paid Richie? Other paid regulars. Mike Black. You think you could beat no, Mike Black? I don't Black? think you could beat oh, Mike yeah. Black. He wouldn't fight me. He's a he harp. Might, he wouldn't hit you, <laughs> but harp. he's a total harp, dude. He, he Which wouldn't female hit. comedian do you think you would have a good fight with? Ooh, mm. I like this. Same level of intensity. Mm. Oh, Kim Congdon would kick my ass. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's possible. She does her... Uh... She's trained, though, right? <laughs> so would you yeah, fight... She's, like, trained in... Would yeah, you fight so, your dead uh, You should probably pick someone who's not trained. <laughs> would you pick Sarah. Sarah and I fighting would be hilarious. Or a Traeger. Traeger could she, be No, fun. She, everyone would kick my ass. I, ah. I'm not a fighter. Trying to think of who else that would be fun to wrestle, uh, watch you fight. You oh, never, yeah. you would kick my ass. Oh, yeah, I'm not even putting myself in this. Over. I fight the guys. I don't fight <laughs> yeah, girls. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I fight the girls. So, <laughs> yeah. You off. and Rick, you and Rick. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Hey, college boy. <laughs> It's insulting in so many levels. <laughs> well, you can find me at jetskijohnson.com. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, what did we find you... the origin? Why are you jet ski? Oh yeah, you didn't tell us. It just sounds like my name, Jesse. I was oh. at an open mic years ago. It's such a it's such a boring story. Instead I of them lie calling and get a more interesting one, but yeah. I like to keep it real. <sighs> All right. So it, it was literally just it sounds the same. Yeah, this guy was doing it his first time ever going on stage and he was talking about this uh, jet ski ride and he said the name jet ski like a million times in his set oh okay and he just kept dragging and dragging so we were laughing every time he'd say jet ski and then my friend jason hill he leaned over he's like you should change your name to jet ski and then i did <laughs> on facebook and it was like i i didn't want it anymore and so i i tried to change it back but facebook locked me out for 30 days <laughs> so I, I because of the name because yeah they were like once you change your name you have to wait 30 days oh, to change it again so I started I saying like 
I was sponsored by Yamaha, <laughs> Kawasaki, and I, I like that someone said the word jet ski so many times in a set. It's and a it's a so ridiculous many times. vehicle. Eight years later, it's become my whole. That like, you now have <laughs> shoes that say jet ski. So Do you, have you ever actually ridden on a jet ski? Never. I never. I never will. Never. Let's get her a jet ski, guys. Let's get her something. <laughs> that, I mean, that would be nice. Yeah, we'll maybe, take her out. Maybe a sea do. Yeah, we'll yeah. have Richie take you out on oh, it. Oh, you'd love that. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he knows right, how to ride around. around. <laughs> That's what I meant when I said squirting. It's not a sea do. What are you talking about? He's secretly so wholesome. <laughs> I can't believe you thought something dirty. <laughs> you got a dirty mind, jet ski. <laughs> All right, so jet ski, they, they just put jet ski Johnson in, and that's how they find you? Oh, yeah, jetskijohnson.com or on any social media. Jet and you're going to be on tour with Kill Tony and Bobby Lee and them? Yeah. Uh, and Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino, I should say it. Not Bobby Lee and yeah, them. Yeah, he's That's so not, rude. He's not a, what is it? And uh, friends. Uh, they, them. He's a... Yeah. <laughs> He's very specific about that. So, so yeah, you should have said Bobby Lee and him. I got at it. A minimum. Got it. My fault. Mr. My fault. Santino. Yeah. Mr. Santino. Yeah. I'm on, yeah, Bad Friends dates. I'm on all those dates. I just pop in and out with Kill Tony whenever I'm in Austin. Great. And, uh, yeah, headline. And my you own can stuff catch now. her here at the world famous comedy store because she's yes. out paid regular. Congrats. Good work. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Guys, you can catch me at uh, Goodnight Larry's. It's, uh, I think that's a different name, but I like it. No, Goodnight Larry's is a new place they're opening. Oh. It's in the basement of a pizza shop in Northridge. <laughs> Perfect. Um, there's a lot of pornography being filmed while the comedy show goes on. Okay, but you are you mind, part of it at least? A little no? background money they will throw you 50 bucks richie hooked me up with <laughs> a little <laughs> background, <laughs> background squirting is what you got going on there i like it thanks guys um, bye all right bye. thank you